Hello everyone, a second box from Japan just arrived and holy cow, I've got two boxes in one day. So let's uh, go ahead and open this up and see what's in. I went ahead and removed my personal information and cut this open, but I've not yet really gone through it. So let's see what we got here. Uh, these boxes, this is about as big as most of my boxes that I did come in. Just because anything bigger with how dense and heavy everything is, it tends to be a little bit crazy. Oh, looks like some nice darker colors so far on the surface level and this looks like this is going to be mostly vintage kimono in this particular selection the last box i got today oh that's a really nice fabric um was obi and haori which are coats a cute little stamp and a couple other odds and ends so as i unload i'm going to put these aside and go through and you'll go through with me i've not yet seen these it's a really pretty fabric orange really autumn really pretty just design all through it. That is just gorgeous. Look you at know how that plays the red and black. Down for that. I have no idea on any of the sizes. Um, it's very rare that I know anything about the sizes until we actually toss them on. This is a really beautiful mint green. I'm pretty, really pretty. Dark. It's probably a men's piece. Yep. I bet you anything it's a men's piece. I'm not opening it up right now to double check. Ooh. Next is a nose and almost. Huh. I like this. That's really nice. Oh, that oh, oh man, what is this? Oh, that's really, really gorgeous. It's uh, like a ooh, it's some sort of formal piece. We'll have to open her up later, get some better photos. And this is one of the fur sewed. I recognize her right off the bat. Really nice silk on her. Really pretty. But I'm not going to open her up right now. We've got other things to get through too. Oh, a little bit of her sleeve. Look at that sleeve. I love them. I don't get these in too often. I can get them, but uh, the expense tends to be what holds me back. A lot of people are a little intimidated at the cost of them. Also the sheer amount of accessories. So uh, it can be a little bit of a barrier. That being said, this is a really pretty, uh, like, bark brown. A really gorgeous, earthy tone and color to it. This is really pretty red. Ooh. That looks interesting. Oh, and there's something over here. Oh, wait, is that more stamps? In my last box, I got I got a couple stamps. I like to put, I like to put stamps on uh, envelopes. This is, like, more stamps. Oh, what is this? <gasps> Year of the Rooster! Check him out! That's gonna be Year of the Rooster stamp. It's pretty awesome. It's a new year. Happy New Year. It's great. Let's see what this stamp is. Um, oh, Year of the Rat! Oh my gosh, that is so cute. And lots of goodies from Japan. Unlike my competition, I'm not an eBay reseller. These are goodies straight from a family that I work with in Kyoto, Japan. There's more. I'm going to be using these to decorate a lot of the envelopes I sent out. Oh, and a fan. Let's see what the fan is. A floral with gold flecks on it. Really pretty. I get a selection of uh, antique fans in. I don't have them available to the general public because they tend to damage them. They don't know how to really open and handle fans properly. I've had a lot of them broken and snapped over time. If you're a fan collector, stop by anytime and ask for it to see the selection I have. I'm more than happy to pull it out for you. Oh, there's one more in here. Get that out of there. Oh, what's that? Oh, here's the horse. Oh, that is so cool. Those are really, really neat. I'll have to send them a thank you note for the stamps because I love stamps. I'm a big stamp person. I have uh, some interesting stamps from Japan that I use. Okay, let's get those out of the way and let's keep digging. Oh, oh man, lots of blue. Lots of blue. That's uh, abstract. Pretty stripes. Great of, I bet you that's probably a men's piece too. I need some men's right now. That is a uh, Yakata. What's this? All black. Mafoku? Yeah, funeral attire. 
Now, I'm not a fan of selling these very often, and I try not to get them in because I think it's, um, it's very easy to sell these to customers, the funeral pieces, who don't understand what they are. And when I sell them, I give people a very big warning as to what these funeral kimono are for, their cultural um, history, and that they're not really appropriate to wear for most conventions and party situations. That is just gorgeous. It is this delicate, dusty sky blue with tiny little hints of gold through it. That's really pretty. The fabric on it feels really, really nice. i um, not going to open it up fully, but that is really just an elegant blue. Down for that. Okay, let's get her out. Ooh, interesting silk. Definitely an older piece. Let's eyeball her interior real quick. Oh yeah, really vintage to antique. Interesting silk, feels very uh, 80s, look at that. Oh, here it is. The spiderweb mizen kimono. Check it out. I am in love. I love spiderweb and skull themes. I will have this bad boy up later. Uh, real, real deal. Definitely a more rare theme. Not too commonly seen. Spiderweb actually represents some really good stuff in Japanese folklore mythology, but we could do a talk about that another time. Let's keep unboxing. Oh, really pretty purple. Um, the fabric, uh, you can see it through here, it's flowers. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. Oh, cute plaid. Down for the plaid. I think plaid ever gets enough love. And this dark brown. Is it a solid? Oh man, the silk on that. It's really, oh man. It's soft enough that it feels, I don't know, it's hard to describe. It's almost like it feels wet. It, there's some silks I've had that actually are so soft they feel wet. It's a really odd sensation. Sorry, just getting these out. <laughs> uh, roses, it looks like. Another dark blue. Really nice. And then uh, floral. Get that out. That's in really good condition. Let's check this bad boy out. Oh, really cool piece. A few minor flaws, which are kind of to be expected for when you're dealing with older pieces. Oh, is this a. No, this isn't a fur set. There's no way that's a fur set. No, she's not a fur set. That being said, really cool piece. Um, with antiques and vintage kimono, you're typically going to have some mild, mild flaws, uh, nothing too damning. Anything I get generally isn't going to be in severe condition or really bad shape. I avoid anything like that. I really don't like to deal in fabrics, so I don't do much in the way of like resells. So when something comes to me damaged, it tends to be pretty much dead weight. Being said, it features the hay and flower cart, really cool motif, bridge in the background, maple leaves, clouds, cart. Really cool. Anyways, this is my second video of an unboxing, and uh, it was an absolute pleasure. As usual, you can find my schedule for where I will be selling kimono at next on my website at ohiokimono.com. We get everything direct from Kyoto, Japan, and uh, it's been an absolute pleasure. I will talk to you guys later.